You know, there have been a lot of great inventions over the last hundred years. Splitting of the atom, polio vaccine, but the greatest one has to be the drive through restaurant, eh? Man, if I could have told my great-grandfather that the day would come where they could stuff a hot meal into a paper bag and toss it through your car window, he'd just shake his head. But I'm thinking it's maybe time to take her to the next level, eh? Instead of a drive through restaurant where you have to go to where the food is, which can be humiliating if you're, say, on foot or worse still, riding a bicycle, I suggest a drive to restaurant where the food actually drives to where you are. And I'm not just talking about plain old delivery where all you get is soggy fries and lukewarm attitude. I mean an actual kitchen on wheels. It's a million dollar idea that you can make out of a $40 car. Now, since we're talking takeout, we gotta start by taking out a few things, like these seats. Now, if you end up using a luxury vehicle with the heated cushions, you might think about keeping them. Make great bun warmers. Okay, now that the seats are gone, the only other thing I have to lose is the roof. If you don't count my credibility, and I'm sure you don't. <laughs> okay, I just gotta get this out of the wind here. Okay. Not quite sure what, what happened there. I must have must have blacked out. Oh, the roof is missing. Oh, there it is. Okay, now the next step is to install our grill here. It only makes sense to be cooking our burgers on a barbecue, but we're gonna actually tie it into the fuel line of the car. I'm not gonna need this propane tank. It looked empty. Okay, the barbecue's gonna take care of the burgers and hot dogs, but for the french fries, I need something that'll hold a lot more grease. And I don't mean Harold's comb. <laughs> How about the tank from an old oil furnace, huh? And the beauty of these babies is the longer she's been there, the easier it is to detach. <laughs> okay, now, for your french fries, you really wanna have those pre-cut before you hit the road. You could slice them by hand, but for a job this big, I prefer something a little faster. Like, say, a wood chipper. Cycle the engine oil through the fryer, so the same oil that keeps the engine cool keeps the fryer hot. Uh, I'll tell you something. If you want those golden fries everybody loves, 10W30. <laughs> We've even got these fryer baskets, which you can get from any grocery store. Attention shoppers, your fries are ready. <laughs> Meanwhile, up front, our burgers are piping hot and perfectly broiled, all ready for our prep station. And while you're at it, why not fill the car radiator with hot coffee and then hook it up to a tap mounted right here on the dashboard, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, I think I may have just answered my own question there. <laughs> so remember, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got a hungry town to feed. Hey, uh, I want to tell you about my brand new book. Uh, it's my woulda, coulda, shoulda guide to Canadian inventions. There's got, we got some real inventions in here, important stuff, you know, like IMAX and the cardiac pacemaker and insulins, great stuff like that. But there are, there are also some woulda, coulda, shoulda inventions, things that should have been invented that weren't. Uh, one guy created lunar panels, for example. We got a sewage cannon in here. Stuff you, you wouldn't have heard about and probably preferred it that way, but you're going to get them in this book. It's also available as an audio book if you like listening more than you like holding. But whatever way you want it, it's available and you can get it at Chapters, you can get it at Amazon, you can get it anywhere books are sold and I guess a couple places that they aren't. Check it out, my woulda, coulda, shoulda guide to Canadian inventions.